Hey guys, so I saw this and it's called, so this is basically Genshin Impact. Um, I'm assuming this was made by a fan, so uh, it should be pretty accurate. So, unless we've got Looming and Child up there, just kind of like happily standing there. But, um, yeah, here we go. Genshin Impact is the only adventure game that actively encourages you to beat up a child each week. Spend hundreds of hours hunting in-game treasure and spending real-world currency to collect sexy anime characters with impractically asymmetrical outfits. Ooh, each with their own distinct personality that makes the Genshin well worth the gambling. There's the overworked one, the overworked one, the overworked one, Hey, wait a minute. You play one of two twins. Doesn't matter what you pick because the cutscenes and dialogue will misgender you no matter who you choose. The two of you are separated when a primo gem shaped god kicks you in the dick, which is an accurate portrayal of the game's gotcha system. Now it's up to you to find your lost brother. Sister. You are joined on your adventure by Piedmon, a sentient baconator who happens to have the exact same design motif as that god that just beat you up, but there's no reason to read into that. Instead, Piedmon suggests the two of you walk around the entire planet. This is a rat suggestion, in so much as it was suggested by your rations. Travel across the nations of Tevat, from bisexual Japan to libertarian Germany to the rolling hills of Zhongli's butt. Work your own butt off so people will finally agree to help you locate your missing twin. Oh, you saved our whole country? Here, we'll put up a poster. There. That'll find him. Gee. Thanks. Oh, no, don't worry. This poster's interact box is the size of a boss arena. Passersby literally can't help but read it instead of talking to nearby NPCs or going through doors. Whoops. Use all seven elements to rapidly swap between characters to crush your enemies underneath an avalanche of numbers. Or don't, because the game has decided you can't switch characters right now because you're too short, so now you have to die. Roll for characters. Roll for weapons. Roll for artifacts. Roll for substats on said artifacts. Ooh, this one looks good. Come on, come on, come on. No. 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 trouble with your rolls there. You know, you could always spend money. Come on, just a little money, just one money, just thirty money for a swimsuit for this cardboard cutout. You could be the one to give these women pants. Don't Amber's shorts look uncomfortable? Aren't you tired of seeing Kami Sato's diaper from every conceivable angle? voice acting is quality because the English actors are aged like a fine Osmanthus wine, unable to reveal their role for months for literally no reason. Pour one out for Scaramouche. One day you'll be able to put that meaty Genshin credit on your resume. <laughs> on that note, if you're looking for someone to voice Il de Torre when he finally shows up, my website is www.brendanblaber. Hang out with other players in co-op mode, and only other players, because when you have a friend with you, all the NPCs in the world suddenly think that you smell. Enjoy looking at another player's world and barely interacting with anything, like some sort of parasocial ghost. But that is, if you could join your friends at all, since the world level keeps new players locked away in baby jail for weeks with characters they can't even upgrade until they've beaten the game. Sometimes it's wildly charming, and other times the localizer appears to be a sphinx with a thesaurus trying their worst. Nothing but proper nouns and prose so purple that it would superconduct if you hit it with a snowball. Wow, these side quests have a surprising amount of dead parents in them. You know what they say, sire a child, die in the wild. Mayhaps this lore will be a bit more cheerful. Oh! Oh no! If there were two gods in Liyue, and one of them killed the other with a rock, would that be fucked up or what? It's pronounced Liyue! Lee, waste your time with side content like fishing, mini games, and the world's most cumbersome tea set as you prepare for future adventures in the nations of Sumeru and Nanalan. There's a great, big, wonderful world out there for you to explore. And the only limit? Is your imagination. Why don't we explore the area ahead of us later? Paimon? <laughs> Paimon? Paimon? Paimon?
I should probably tell her I'm just streaming on Twitch, right? Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh... Yeah, that was pretty accurate. So, one of the last things, like, with the freaking pronunciation of, like, Liyue and all that, you know, sometimes, like, the, even the characters in-game all pronounce it differently. Sometimes they say Liyue, or some they say Liu or leeway it, it, it every single character seems to pronounce it differently it's like the sound you know the, the the voice director it wasn't consistent with how to pronounce it so everyone pronounces it differently like i said some are like like um john lee says leeway but then uh paimon like Liyue. you know and then you hear someone say liu so it's like how, how do you pronounce it That'd be fucked up, right? Um, yeah, we're still waiting for Scaramouche to become a playable character. So, yeah, it was pretty accurate. Yeah, we pretty much get kicked in the balls. You know, we we the, the game starts and they're fighting the, you know sustainer of heavenly principles and you know whichever one you decide to choose the other so if you choose to be aether uh then lumine gets taken away if you choose to be lumine aether gets taken away um and then you wake up and paimon uh the whole thing with that is emergency food um so people uh, i think when you meet amber she says you know what you know who is this and the like the uh, the Answers are like a mascot and emergency food and emergency food kind of becomes a running joke. And every time she's like, Paimon is not emergency food. Um, but that's what the whole thing with eating Paimon because it's the, it's, it's just a running joke of <laughs> and Zhongli's Zhang Zhongli's mountains. Uh, Geo daddy, big dong Zhang. I mean, you name it, this, Everyone loves Zhongli. Everyone loves him. Also, this fucking tavern. It, it's true. This You have the board right there, and it's right next to the door, and every time you go in, and you think you're going in, you press to read this fucking thing. Same thing with inside. There's, um, there's a bar there, Six Finger Jose, and every time you're ready to leave, he's right near the fucking door. So every time you try to fucking leave, you accidentally talk to him instead. So you're outside. <laughs> Missing Ito's beef. Yeah, Ito. Um, he was supposed to be all big and buff, and then they make him all, all scrawny looking. But um, yeah, same thing when you're coming in. You're, you're trying to get inside, but you have the two options where it says to, to read the board or go in. And you would assume because you're in front of the door that enter would be the first option. But no, somehow it's read the board. It's fucking stupid. And it's something that I, I don't think um, they've taken care of. Also, the very, very first joke being a child every week is his child. That's his nickname. You know, or, um, you know, Tartaglia is child. You know, it's both names he goes by, so beating up a child every week. Uh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Um, yeah, and then you got your uh, your big peepee numbers, your big dick numbers, and uh, sometimes it doesn't matter because you know you've got an elemental reaction going, and then sometimes you try switching, and it's like, oh, can't switch now, and you're like, why the fuck not? Yeah, target character cannot, cannot switch to target character. Yeah. Keep rolling. Rolls on everything. And it's by far the most ridiculous thing. So you see this main stat, which is the up there. And that can be uh, crit. It could be, you know, pretty much whatever it is, whether it's HP or crit or attack. This is what you go for. You don't want base, where it's just a flat number. Uh, you want the percentage. 
Same thing with all these. So best substat, best substat, okay stat, and then hot garbage. Usually, most of the time, you don't want defense. The defense percentage, defense, uh, flat defense, um, HP, flat, you know, flat HP. Those are the ones you try to avoid. So it's pretty much a luck of the draw. I really wish they would introduce a way to re-roll your artifacts every week. Um, give you like, uh, I don't know, three or four free uh, re-rolls. And then you have to pay a certain amount of whatever, uh, you know, whatever to re-roll. Um, you can run the freaking domains over and over and i think i wasted all my my resin all my extra resin just for like one and i got it but each time the stats were fucking shitty it's like oh based you know flat defense flat de it's like I, I i don't want that i don't want that and if you want your character to be the best that it can be <laughs> that's so creepy uh, if you want your character to be the best, obviously people go online, they look up guides to, you know, which artifacts are best, which, uh, weapons are the best. Um, you know, it depends if you want to be a main DPS or, you know, assist or, you know, whatever. <laughs> um... But yeah, also in addition to like all the other the fucking rolling things that you have to do, whether artifacts or whatever, then you get these uh, outfits that they come out with from time to time. Like this one came out last year. Um, Jean got one. This was Jean's. Uh, Barbara got one, which they gave away for free um, with uh, the Golden Apple Archipelago last year. Um, this year they had a alternate outfit for official... D Luke. Um, they redid some of the outfits. I think uh Eula's they redid. Um Eula, Amber, Jean, someone else. Because apparently they were too um revealing. So some of them got updated, which some of them actually do look kind of cool, much better than the original version of it, but we can't have big anime titties showing. Um, yeah, like this, like this was Amber's. Like she was wearing like really tight looking shorts, so they kind of made them longer. And... Uh, not, yeah, freaking Ayaka looks like she's wearing a goddamn diaper, even though I think they're bloomers. Yeah, the Barbara's is really hers is really like the her outfit. It's got this like cute little um duck purse, I think it is. It's really cute. Um <laughs> Fiona. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that yet she had little kitty cats back here in the glasses. <laughs> so she is obviously a cat. Um, and she is kind of like the main person at the cat's tail, which is a bar. Um, like she's in the wine industry, like she has a bar, but she doesn't like people drinking. And she's been trying to shut down the wine industry for forever. Well, I can't say forever because she's only like fucking 12 years old, I think. So for a while, she's been trying to shut down the wine industry. So like, D Luke's entire winery, she wants that fucking burn to the ground. Um we we meet her dad. Um we help him. So she's she's the bartender and she's constantly trying to make up drinks and I think her hangout event, if I remember, it was her hangout event where she tries to make the nastiest fucking drink possible to prevent people from coming to the bar. And every single time she purposely messes it up. The guys who were trying it found a way to enjoy it. And she's like, this, this isn't happening. This, how is this possible? So she's, she's in the, the bar industry, but yet she doesn't like people drinking. You know, she doesn't like seeing drunk old people. Yeah, we got a, we got a ship right there. Yeah, for a while, you can't really do anything when you're leveling up. 
You got Timmy and his birds. Still waiting for his dad to come back. Yep. So we're going to Sumeru. Uh, we've still got Natlan. We've got uh, Fontaine. We've got Snezhnaya. Um, we've got a few more places to go. Places to go, people to see, enemies to kill. Um, but <laughs> the thing with, that they were talking about with this, with um, Paimon, so if you look on the map, you have your map, and then you have like this red border. Those are the no-no areas. That's usually places that aren't even developed yet. So when you get up to that place, you'll see land and everything, but usually they're just like 2D textures. So pretty much uh, you'll walk, and it'll just sometimes it'll just fall through the fucking world. But when you get over there, Paimon will be like, uh, let's let's explore this place, you know, this, this area later. Because obviously it's not done, so she tries to turn you around. And there's some people who can glitch, you know, glitch themselves and force their way outward. Um, but I think uh, Hoyo has pretty much made it to where if you go far enough, it just instantly just teleports you back. Um, before people could just keep going and going and going. But it now kind of like teleports you back. I think I, I tried it and I got f decently far, but then it teleports me back to where, you know, where you should be. But, um, yeah, she constantly tells you, like, you know, maybe we should explore this area later. But sometimes it will get you fucking killed. Um, because the, the border, the way it is, if you're on up high on a cliff, and, you know, that the border is just a little bit, like, that, if that cliff is just a little bit inside that border, so when you go in, it automatically turns you around. But sometimes when it automatically turns you around, it turns you around the wrong way. So you'll find yourself stumbling down a fucking hill. You'll smack the ground and you die. So that's pretty much what the case is here. Long live the king. But yeah, this was pretty accurate to, uh, to, to, to Genshin Impact. Uh, you know, the re-rolling on everything, and the spending money, and yeah, pretty accurate. So, congratulations. It was it was accurate. Obviously, it's created by a person who probably plays the game. So, anyways, uh, that's it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.